What's going on guys, Divs and Maltus here and in this video I will be giving you a full tutorial on how to make a good looking CSGO frag movie. This tutorial is designed for frabs and Sony Vegas 13. So make sure you get your softwares ready and let us jump right into it. First out we are going to set things up in frabs. You are going to want to record your gameplay in 60 frames per second. So go to your movie tabs right here under video capture, no, video capture settings. Uh, you should select the blank spot, uh, it's gonna look like this for you and then you just type in 660 here and if you're new to Fraps or haven't done so already make sure you have a video capture hotkey assigned over here so again click in the blind spot in the blank spot and type any key on your keyboard uh, that's gonna be your recording key and up here we select the folders f for your recording so just set it anywhere you have space on your computer. Make sure you have space because Fraps is uh, taking up a lot of this hard drive. Uh, so just select the folder here. You can find your clips later on. And once we're done with that, let's close Fraps for now. And now it's time to open up your Sony Vegas program software. And here is where the fun begins. So let's right, jump in right into it, guys. And go to your file and properties I already have all my settings set up but I will go through everything just to show you guys <clears throat> so here uh, this is a really good thing you should type in like CS Framework type in anything here and hit save once we're done with this because this will automatically save your template so you don't have to do this all over again when you start a new project alright uh, we're gonna do this in 1920 1080 file order known pixel aspect right there here keep it on one square output rotation uh, zero just don't do anything with it and frame rate here you can select a few different here frames frame frame per seconds here but we will use 60 fps so just type in 60 here and uh, keep the 3D mode of pixel format 8 bit. Um, and here you don't have to change anything. Full resolution rain. I'm <coughs> oh, sorry, yes. Full resolution rendering quality best, of course. Um, motion blur, blur type. Uh, this one here, can't pronounce it. And here you can. Then uh, files right there, yeah. And make sure you have this one here ticked in. Adjust source media to better match project or render settings. Should be ticked in here. And if you would like, you can tick in this one here too. Start all new projects projects with these settings. And then we hit apply. Okay, guys, it's time to add a clip to our project and I will show you which effects I usually put on my videos to make them look a little bit better. So first off, go to your explorer here, the explorer tab, find your fraps folder or wherever you have your recordings, select the clip you want to use and double click it. And it should be shown here in the timeline, All right? And once you've done that, uh, right click on your clip and select media effects and this one shouldn't be here so just untick that you shouldn't even have it but yes we're gonna add a new video effect by pressing this green little here and we got this and these are all basic stuff coming along with Sony Vega so it's nothing you have to download nothing you gotta do you should have all this different effects right here and you can play a play around with them however you like uh, but I'm gonna show you which one I prefer so we're gonna find um, let's see here we're gonna find first off we're gonna find Sony glow because I'd like to glow up glow up my my uh, visual a little bit so Sony glow right here and double click it and you can see it here in the right here yeah okay press OK and then we have I have a saved uh, a saved here already so as you can see here it's glow present 
zero point zero zero seven uh intensity one point two two four and suppression zero point three seven four yeah just just copy paste this shit right here and uh then again guys if you want to save this just type anything here like cs glow and then you hit the save present and then you don't have to do this every time all right so that's one of the effects i like to use and uh, we're gonna go to the plugin again and add um let's see color curve okay let's see here sony color curves uh, this makes the clip look a little bit brighter i would say i mean call the color the spin it will be more popping um yeah you will see all right so and here you just gotta drag this up a little bit like this and down here a little bit like this something like this i'm 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 gonna sh yeah here i have my saving again yeah it looks like this so just play around uh till you find something you like and then you hit save again and we go to plugin and we are going to add um sharpen all right let's see if we can find sharpen here somewhere um i'm getting really really tired right now guys so please forgive me sony sharpen right here it's getting late all right Mm hmm why wouldn't okay so yeah just double click and it will show up here and then press ok and here should i e dbc edit yes that's my save and i've dried it down to 0 0.125 and that's about it for now uh, sometimes i use uh, others other effects too when i'm doing a full editing video movie um I, I i like to play around a little bit but yeah check it out for yourself guys so let's see here now throwing flashbang all right I think, out. I think we could actually skip the sharpen in this one because it's really really uh light and yeah I'm, i don't really think it fits into uh, this clip uh, well so let's keep, yeah let's ke just keep it like this all right anyway guys you play around as you wish with the effects um, but this is this is the effects I like to use and so uh, once we're done with that it's time to render our clip so go to your file render as and as you can see here, I got mine already saved here as 60 FPS. Um, you should go over under main concept AVC slash AAC MP4 AVC. So if you just press it like this, and then you uh, from from the customization, you should uh, double click on this Internet HD 1080p. So if you go ahead and do that and then you click on customize template and you can see this right here and I'm gonna switch over to my saved profile here which is this one right here and it should look like this so include video of course HD 1080 920 by 1080 HD here and uh, yeah allows us to adjust frames uh, untick that uh, frame rate 60 you know these guys visual aspect rate we hear one number of reference frames 14 and this one should be ticked use the blocking filter um do not have constant bitrate you should use uh, 
variable bitrate, so no two pass ticked, just type in 40 million and uh, on maximum and average 30 million. And then number of slices, you should have it on four like this. And for the end quarter mode, um, you have to check something on your system because this depends on if you are using a really really good CPU you could render using CPU only unless you are rendering uh, from your graphic cards or not not only from your graphic cards of course but it will help out make makes it look better and it will be a lot faster so to find out which one you should use here go to the system tab right here and go click on check GPU, GPU and then here OpenCL is available so then I go back to the video tab and shows my which was rendering using OpenCL if available and it is so yeah that's about it enable progress download click in and press OK and then we can go ahead and render our clip by pressing render here and here is where you will save the where where, where they will, where it will save on your computer it's basic guys and um here is uh, this option right here rendering option render loop religion only uh it's about uh, if you have uh, like mark this like like i have it will only render the blue area of the clip uh, if you untick this one it will render everything you have in your timeline so to speak all right so um just press rendering here it will render your clip yep that's about it guys thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like this video Follow me on Twitch, I will be bringing up my stream soon. Um, and take care guys, thanks for watching, see ya.